Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful and absolutely delicious Snickers cake that will blow your mind. This is a three layer cake and it is like heaven in your mouth. So these are the ingredients you'll need for the three cake layers. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. So first you're going to grease and line a six inch round pan and set it aside. Then to your sugar, add your flour, baking powder, and baking soda. And give it a quick mix. Then add in your butter. And mash it in with a fork. Keep mashing till the mixture resembles sand. I'm so sorry my camera was turned off here but all you have to do is slowly add in the milk and beat. Then add in your vanilla extract and beat it in. Then add in your egg. Beat that in quickly as well. Now add in your melted chocolate. And beat it for the last time. Making sure the chocolate is incorporated in the batter. Now divide the cake batter into three equal parts and I do this by weighing the batter. So one part is equal to 137 grams. Now spread it evenly. And bake this in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 14 minutes. And a toothpick inserted should come out clean without any wet batter. And you should also be able to see a gap between the cake and the tin. Then you're going to let the cake cool completely. And then make sure to run a knife around the edges of the cake. Then take a plate lined with plastic wrap and you're going to flip over the cake and give it a tap and the baking paper makes sure the cake comes out now repeat this with the remaining batter to get two more cake layers and these are the three cake layers now these are the ingredients you'll need for the chocolate peanut butter ganache First, you're going to add your cream to a vessel and then set it on low flame and keep stirring till the cream comes to a simmer. And then switch off the flame and add in your chocolate. Then push the chocolate in the cream with a spoon, making sure not to stir. Also add in your peanut butter. 
and let it sit for 5 minutes. Then you're going to stir it till everything comes together. And here you can see the ganache is nice and creamy. Now these are the ingredients you'll need for making the peanut butter mousse. So if you don't have Greek yogurt, you can take some yogurt and hang it in a muslin cloth for 3 hours and you'll have Greek yogurt. Also make sure to whip your cream to stiff peaks. Once it forms stiff peaks, you're going to set this aside. Now in another bowl, you're going to take your peanut butter and the Greek yogurt. Add in the powdered sugar. And beat this on high for about 3-4 to four minutes till it's nice and creamy that is how it should look like then you're going to add in spoonfuls of the whipped cream and fold it in lightly making sure that you do not let the air escape keep adding in spoonfuls and that was the last addition You can see that the mousse is ready and it's nice and airy. Now these are the ingredients you'll need for making the chocolate peanut butter mousse. So first you're going to take your chocolate and peanut butter in a microwave safe bowl and then microwave it at 10 second intervals stirring in between. So this was the first 10 seconds I microwaved it. Go ahead and mix it properly. Then again microwave it and you can see that it's nearly melted. Now once that is melted, you're going to take spoonfuls of the whipped cream and fold it in again lightly. And you have to be patient while doing this. And that was the last addition. And you can see that it's all folded in and it looks beautiful. Make sure to refrigerate the mousse till it is required. These are the ingredients you'll need to assemble the cake. 
So first I made some chocolate squares. So all you're going to do is add your melted chocolate to a piping bag and then pipe rectangles just like that and fill them in. You just need 8 rectangles but I made some extra just in case. Then you're going to sprinkle the crushed peanuts on half of the chocolate rectangles. So I sprinkled it on 7 of them. Then refrigerate it for 15 to 20 minutes. And you can see that if you pipe it on a baking paper, then you can lift these really easily. Then you're going to place your first layer on a plate. Place half of the chocolate peanut butter mousse on the first layer. Then spread it out evenly with a spatula. Now you're going to place half of your chopped Snickers on there. Just make sure to fill the entire layer with the Snickers. That's how it should look like. Then you're going to take your caramel sauce in a piping bag and draw lines. So first you're going to draw horizontal lines and then you can draw vertical lines. You can really drizzle it however you want to. Then take some of your chocolate peanut butter ganache in a piping bag and pipe lines of that. Then place your second layer on top. And you're going to repeat the same process. Then place the last layer on the top. Then you're going to frost the entire cake in a thin layer of the peanut butter mousse. And this doesn't have to be perfect.
Now you can see here that the entire cake is nicely coated. Then you're going to spoon your ganache on top of the cake and make sure that it reaches the edges of the cake and flows in droplets so you get a really nice effect. Once that is done, you're going to pipe stars of the peanut butter mousse on the cake, making sure to create a circle. So you're going to pipe 8 stars. And make sure that the stars are pointing outwards. And then you're going to place chocolate chips on the tips of these stars. Then place your chocolate rectangles alternating with the nuts and the plain ones. Then you're going to sprinkle the peanuts in the center. And then sprinkle some chocolate chips. And then drizzle vertical and horizontal lines of the caramel sauce in the center. Now at the bottom of the cake, you're going to pipe stars of the peanut butter mousse alternating with the halved mini Snickers. Then you're going to place chocolate chips at the tips of these stars. And once that is done, your cake is ready. Now refrigerate this cake for a few hours or overnight if possible. And here I cut a slice of the cake to show you how it looks on the inside. It is easier to cut this cake if it is refrigerated overnight. And this cake is super moist. You can see the layers of the cake, it looks so beautiful. And here I took a bite of the cake and you can see the beautiful layers and how moist the cake is. This cake is so delicious, it tastes just like Snickers and you won't be able to stop at one bite. I hope you try out this delicious cake and let me know how it turns out. Also check out my channel for more recipes of mine and subscribe to stay updated with all my new videos. I'll be back soon with a new recipe, bye!